What is acne and how to go about getting rid of it? Acne is the inflamed bump that pops up and makes you want to hide your face. It can be the cause of considerable emotional distress because of it being visible to everyone around you. Acne is the most common skin disease and about 50 million people in the United States suffer from it. Acne is a manifestation of an infected sebaceous gland and hair follicle on the facial skin. A lot of teenagers suffer from this and do not know what exactly they should do about it. The proper management of acne is required to clear it up without leaving a scar on your face. Laser treatment is the last resort option to remove the marks left by acne. Let's understand how acne forms, what are the predisposing factors for its formation, and how to manage them so that minimum harm happens. A plugged follicle mostly causes acne. The plug originates due to the sebum and the accumulation of dead skin cells. Bacteria aggravates the clogged follicle, causing infection in that area. The infection becomes visible on the skin in the form of pimples and mostly affects adolescents and young adults. Excess sebum formation, follicular plugging with sebum, bacterial infection, and inflammation are four major factors behind acne formation. There are two types of acne. One is the non-inflammatory type and the other one is the inflammatory type. The non-inflammatory type is characterized by comedones, blackheads, and whiteheads. The inflammatory type is characterized by papules, pustules, nodules, and cysts. A surge in particular hormones during puberty or pregnancy can trigger acne formation. Occlusive cosmetics, high humidity, and sweating can also be a contributing factor to acne. Some drugs and chemicals like corticosteroids are known to worsen acne. Mild and moderate acne usually heals without scarring by the mid-twenties. Various methods can also treat scars that do not go away. You need to take extra care of your skin if you are prone to acne. People with oily skin mostly encounter this problem. The best way to stay away from these little infections is by washing your face regularly to control the oiliness of the skin and remove dust particles. If there is oil on your skin, then it will attract dust particles or environmental pollutants onto your skin, resulting in infection and acne. Once acne shows up, it is highly important not to scratch or touch your acne, as this will only worsen the disease. Wash your face daily with mild soap and keep your face clean and dry. Do not use any creams or products on your acne without a doctor's advice first. Taking medication on your own can result in the aggravation of your condition. Use a healthy diet and stay away from fried or oily products. And make exercise a part of your daily routine. For persistent acne in adolescence, diet adjustments may become necessary in conjunction with the doctor's advice. High glycemic and starchy foods such as boiled potatoes, french fries, etc. have been found to cause acne. Some observational studies have also suggested that dairy products such as skimmed milk may aggravate acne. If you want to stay clear of acne, it is essential to avoid various triggers which can result in acne formation. Do you know anyone who is suffering from acne or maybe has suffered from it? Show them this video.